I want you to know that the decision that you've made to place your trust in Jesus Christ is the best decision you'll ever make in your life. And now that you have made that decision to trust Jesus and to follow Him, there are a few things that you need to know. God, which created everything, makes His home or dwelling in heaven. In Revelations 11:19, we are told that the temple of God, which is in heaven, was opened. In Matthew 10:32, Jesus talks about His Father, who is in heaven. God came to earth and lived with mankind through the person of Jesus Christ. In John 1, 1, it tells us that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And in verse 14, it says the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In John 14, 9, Jesus also said that if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And in John 10, 30, Jesus said, I and the Father are one. After Jesus was crucified and resurrected, God lives in His people through the Holy Spirit. He lives in those who have placed their trust in Jesus Christ. In John 14, 26, Jesus said, The Helper, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. In Ephesians 4.30, we are told that we are sealed by the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are all the same Spirit, but yet three separate entities. We are told in Ephesians 2.18 that through Him, Jesus, we have access in one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to the Father, which is God. Let me tell you some of the ways that Jesus is revealed in the Bible. Jesus is our Lamb. The blood of Jesus removes sin from us. The Bible says in 1 John 1.7, the blood of Jesus, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. In the Old Testament, the Lamb was sacrificed as a foreshadowing of the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made for sin. Jesus shed His blood for the sins of the whole world. In John 1.29, John the Baptist saw Jesus coming to him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Bible also says that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. In Hebrews 9.22, it says, According to the law, one may almost say that all things are cleansed with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Jesus is also our shepherd. In John 10.11, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays his life down for the sheep. Jesus being our shepherd, we also have security. Jesus says in John 10, 27 and 28, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. Also, Jesus being our shepherd, we have everything that we need. Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
Jesus is also our advocate. We pray to God through Jesus. He's like a lawyer. He pleads our case. We are told in 1 John 2, 1, that if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And in Romans 8, 34, it says, Christ Jesus is he who died. Yes, rather, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who also intercedes for us. Jesus is our Savior. In Luke 2.11, it tells us, For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And in 1 John 4.14, 4, we have seen and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. You know, Jesus died for you. He guides you. He talks to God for you. And He saves you. Jesus really loves you.